Morning, folks. Welcome to Coffee with Job on Monday. Um, we are at, I think, number 51, and we're only in Job chapter 17. Now, again, I'm here. I'm not on, on the balcony today. I'll maybe be there tomorrow. Uh, I'm here in... I come to places like this. I know this sounds really strange, but when you're depressed or a bit down or so on, I used to go to uh, Port Mahomet Lighthouse or down the Nig Cliffs or just to find a spot to be, I don't know, just by myself and not just to wallow in misery. And it's not just a case of you go and you, you see the beauty and you cheer. By the way, can you hear the... Can you hear the birds? Yeah. They, those ones sometimes seem like they're laughing. Now, I, I find that nature does refresh and help you because it's, again, enabling you to see the beauty of God. But when I feel like Job felt here, only a few years will pass before I take the path of no return. My spirit is broken. My days are cut short. The grave awaits me. Surely mockers surround me. My eyes must dwell on their hostility. Give me, O oh God, the pledge you demand. Who else will put up security for me? You have closed their minds to understanding. Therefore, you will not let them triumph. If anyone denounces their friends for reward, the eyes of their children will fail. God has made me a byword to everyone, a man in whose face people spit. My eyes have grown dim with grief. My whole frame is but a shadow. The upright are appalled at this. The innocent are aroused against the ungodly. Nevertheless, the righteous will hold to their ways and those with clean hands will grow stronger. There's just so much pathos and depth in that. By the way, I've got a, as you see, I've, I've got a new Bible. Um, my old one has worn out. The Bible I was given as moderator of the Free Church um, is now worn. I guess a worn out Bible is a good sign, but uh, I had to hunt high and low to get one that did NIV British English and was in leather and you know so on but it's worth it for these words the graveyard is ready for me he's facing death he's no he's no hope of of life his spirit has broken and that's the desire for life you know when your spirit goes I've seen that in people you know I've had the privilege of being at many deathbeds and with some people, there's this determination to live. And, you know, the spirit is really strong. And then when you see someone's spirit broken, it's almost nothing that you do for them will change that. And his spirit has gone. He's surrounded by mockers. Surely mockers surround me. And again, some of you have experienced that. And to be honest, those of us who hold to a Christian worldview, we're mocked and mocked and mocked. And I'm really saddened that there are far too many in the church saying, well, we've got to appeal to the world. No, they mock God. We don't have to appeal to them in that way. We present to them the beauty of Christ. But, you know, going along with the mockers, joining in the mockers, no thanks. And then he says they have closed minds. They, you have closed their minds to understanding. Again, I think that's one of the weakness of apologetics. I think... Apologetics is essential, it's a tool that God can use, but if you think that we can persuade people by argument, no, their minds are close to understanding. And that's, again, the Spirit comes in, we need the Spirit to work. But notice verse 3, that's a really interesting one. God's pledge, give me, O God, the pledge you demand. Now the words, O God, are not in the original Hebrew, but I think the NIV is right to say this is being asked of God. And, and pledge in, in Proverbs eleven fifteen, whoever puts up a security for a stranger will surely suffer harm. Pledge is a security, a guarantee. And he's saying, Lord, give me a, a security. And that's where I want to leave today because Job then goes on to talk about people spitting in his face, people loathing him, his eyes growing tired with weeping. He's become a shadow of his former self. But it's this pledge, this deposit, this security. And I think of the pledge of the Holy Spirit. And I think of the security of Jesus Christ. And I think of the guarantee that here we have no continuing city, but there is a, a, a glory laid up for us. So I come to places like this and, yeah, it's okay at times to be discouraged and depressed. And do you know what? I'm, I'm discouraged just at, 
at the state of the church in so many ways. And yet I look to the Lord and I'm just amazed at the security that he gives. So see you tomorrow, probably on the balcony. Bye.